Hello students, welcome back to our channel Diksha Karnataka. So, KSA 2024 counselling is going on and many of you are confused regarding two important branches that is computer science and information science. Which one to choose, right? So, yes, uh, in this video we are going to discuss in detail about computer science and information science. In this video we will be discussing about the difference what exactly these two mean and what are the career opportunities, what are the skills required for these two specific branches and lastly we will be discussing the top colleges and their cutoff for computer science as well as for information science. Okay? So yes, if you are someone who is uh, like confused between these two branches then please watch the complete video so that you can understand in detail about these two branches and can make informed decisions regarding your uh, like which career to choose. Okay? So yes, now let us get started here. So before starting I will make you, I will give you a very real life example. So let us compare a chef, okay? a chef which uh, who cooks new dishes, new technologies in cooki, uh, cooking, new methodologies, new ingredients and of a restaurant manager okay? who manages everything so that the restaurant can run successfully. So this is how we will go and understand computer science and information science in detail. Okay? So now let us see here. So you can see this is a chef. Okay? who is uh, cooking so many new dishes with new technologies of cooking and this is a rest, uh, hotel manager who manages that all customers are happy, they are getting what they want, the hotel is running successfully or not. Okay? So now let us use this analogy and find the difference between computer science and information science. So computer science, computer science as a chef okay, cooking new recipes and information science as a restaurant manager running successful restaurant. Okay. Now, let us understand it in detail. See, as a chef experiments with different ingredients and cooking techniques to create new dishes, computer engineers explore algorithms, data structures and programming languages to develop innovative software solutions. Okay. So, like as a chef in, uh, innovates new dishes, a uh, computer engineer innovates new solutions. How it innovates new solutions? By using different algorithms, different structures and different programming languages. How a cook initiates or develops a new recipe? By using different ingredients and by using different cooking technologies. Right? Now coming to a uh, uh, similar to how a restaurant manager ensures the smooth operation of a restaurant, information science professionals manage and maintain computer systems, networks and software applications to support the daily operations of business and organization. So what information science engineers do? They try to like manage and maintain computer system, networks and software applications so that these uh, daily operations of business and organizations can run smoothly. So I hope a basic understanding is clear here. So computer science engineer is someone who innovates new technologies, new methodologies and new solutions and information science engineers are those who implement these things. Okay? Now let us go little more in detail. So what do computer science engineers focus? So they focus on understanding the fundamental principles of computing and pushing the boundaries of what possible in technology. So these people, uh, computer science engineers focus on understanding the fundamental principles of computing. Okay? Whereas the, they focus on implementing and optimizing the existing technologies to meet the users needs and requirements. So information science people or professionals, they work more on how to implement the solutions, how to implement the technologies, whereas computer science students or professionals work on innovating the technology. Okay? Now if you see like information science is a part of computer science, yes definitely computer science is a broader area and one part of it is information science. Okay? So now coming to the career opportunities. Okay, so let us first discuss the career opportunities in computer science. So you can be a software engineer, you can be an information security analyst, database administrator, computer hardware engineer. Okay? Now coming to, these are some of the opportunities, there are many more. Now coming to the career opportunities in information science. So this is technical support specialist, next you have IT project manager, network engineer and then IT consultant. Okay? So now coming to the skills required, okay, this is very important. 
so that you can decide whether you want to go for computer science or you want to go for information engineering okay information science so you need to know the what skills you have and which skill set exactly matches this out of these two branches okay so now coming to the skills that is required for computer science are analytical thinking communication skills next you have creativity next you have detail oriented problem solving abilities and then you have programming language knowledge okay so if these skills or some of these skills are there if you are if you are someone who can think analytically if you are someone who is like more problem solving abilities there you are very much interested with the computer languages like c++ python java these are the things which you enjoy a lot you enjoy uh, making coding and writing coding for different programs if you are such one then computer science is definitely for you now let us see what are the skills required for information science okay so project management if you are something who can manage something okay you are like a manager you are going to manage certain thing if you are good at this then definitely you can consider software knowledge you should have analytical thinking you need to have problem solving abilities you have and then technical skills also is required okay so now if you see basically if you uh, understand the skill set is more or less same for both computer science and information science subjects are also like overlapping some subjects are also overlapping so there is not a very much difference between computer science and information science but yes there is a difference of computer science is more about uh, innovating and creating whereas information science is more about implementing okay now coming to the top colleges here so there are many colleges which uh, give admission for computer science and information science so now let us see some top colleges here rv college of engineering so these are your kset uh, 2023 round 2 extended cut off okay so for computer science it is 360 information science it is 663 now coming to bms college of engineering in computer science the cut off is 1037 and in information science it is 2034 and then coming to ms ramaya institute of technology computer science cut off is around 1859 and information science it is 2634 now coming to jss s to u it is computer science is 3525 Information science is four thousand two hundred and eighty-three. Now UBC computer science it is four three four four, and information science it is five six nine five. Okay, so yes, uh, so students, this was a small and a uh, detailed video regarding computer science and information science. course wise skill wise it is not that much different and even career opportunities are also not very vast so if your rank is for if you are like someone interested in computer science but if your rank is for information science then you can go for it so the point here is there is no much difference like a vast difference is not there some particular subjects will be there in information science which will not be there in computer science so that like the small differences are there so yes now you can take a decision based on this what is your interest where you want to join okay so i hope this video was helpful and if you have found this help, uh, video helpful please subscribe the channel and also all the very best for your kset 2024 counseling and next any other branches you want the video please do comment down we'll definitely address it thank you for watching